Good evening and welcome to the News Hour Agenda. I'm Madhavas Gopal Krishnan. Five days before Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee's Sunday deadline was to end, the Calcutta High Court has transferred the probe into the Kolkata rape and murder case to the Central Bureau of Investigation. High Court came down heavily on the Mamata government and questioned the rush with which the R.G. Kaur principal, Dr. Sandeep Ghosh, was given a new appointment hours after he resigned. Pulling up the state government, the court has asked how was Ghosh rewarded with another responsibility nearly 12 hours after he stepped down. The court also directed that Ghosh be sent on long leave. The High Court has asked the state police to hand over all case files to the CBI and custody of CCTV tapes as well. CBI has been asked to file its first report in the next three weeks. Reacting to the High Court decision, the TMC has said that Chief Minister had already stated that the government had no objection to a probe by a central agency. Goto Kalo, Britar Puriwar and Shadda Yakakota Pore, Manoni of Mukkunti Avar Bolechile, Jami, Robivar of the Shomai Dichi, Robivar and Modejo the Tadonto Bukria Shampuno Nahai, Amra Nijera at a CBI Ratatuladovo, Kitty Mode, Police Otonto, Shotchota, Dutota, Totsurata Shade Tadonto Porche, Amade Birovisas, Pulici Puro Tadonto, Shomadan Kote Parto, Kinto CBI conviction rate Koto. বিগত দু বছরে এই বাংলায় 29 টা सीबीआई কেস হয়েছে প্রত্যেকটা কেসই রবীন্দ্রনাথের নোবেল ঠাকুরের খোঁজা নোবেল প্রাইজ খোঁজার মতো দীর্ঘমেয়াদী প্রকল্পের মধ্যে দিয়ে চলছে কোনো কেসের সুরা হয়নি this is of course uh, what has taken place as far as the high court is concerned however doctors are still on the streets demanding security for medical staff now, while the High Court has appealed to them to withdraw their agitation, keeping the interest of patients in mind, the BJP, however, continues to mount pressure on the Bamta government, alleging that there's a cover-up and a bid to eliminate evidence. BJP has leveled this charge as visuals emerge from the RG Car Medical College, showing a room close to the crime scene where the victim was brutalized, being demolished. Amidst outrage and allegations of cover-up, Union Health Minister J.P. Nadda met a delegation from the Indian Medical Association today. Here's what they said after the meeting. Bengal is a place where there is no law in the name of the law. Lawlessness is in the name of the law. And the pain is that 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 the pain I am joined by uh, Indian Medical Association President, sir. You just met with the uh, Union Health Minister. Was any assurance given to you what happened in the meeting? Well, the meeting went on well. We pressed for two major demands that all the hospitals in the country be declared as safe zones and some amount of uh, security entitlement. We also pressed for the Central Act on uh, violence in hospitals and doctors. And he said that there are certain limitations in bringing a central law, but he will study the issue and then uh, do whatever is possible under the circumstances. He will come out with a statement today. Calcutta High Court has transferred this case to the Central Bureau of Investigation. Do you welcome this uh, order by the High Court? We certainly welcome it because, you know, this is uh, inspiring confidence in the investigation that the true culprits will be brought to book. Viewers' gory details of the crime have emerged from the preliminary autopsy report. The 31-year-old doctor was bleeding from both her eyes, her mouth and private parts. There were injuries all over her body. The blue mattress on which her lifeless body was found was soaked in blood. But despite these findings, the first call made to the family reportedly said that the woman doctor had committed suicide. Now, BJP leaders are citing this as well as a number of other factors to question the probe by Mamta's police. They ask why was the victim cremated in complete secrecy despite a demand for a second autopsy. They also claim that given the brutality, involvement of more people is suspected. BJP leaders also allege that Sanjay Roy has been made a scapegoat and that there's an attempt to save the real culprit who they say has links to our leader. What has taken place in West Bengal in the RG Medical Car Hospital is nothing short of a Nirbhaya type rape perhaps even a gang rape. The entire autopsy postmortem report shocks the conscience of this country. But instead of nyay for the beti, there is a balatkari bacha. 
not samvidhan bachao not beti bachao and the manner in which the cover up took place the shameful act of the tmc government to reinstate the principal within 24 hours after removing him from rg medical college sandeep ghosh this shows the level to which the tmc government is going to protect the accused Meanwhile, a viral audio tape is also doing the rounds, which raises serious questions over the possible bit to bury the truth. Now, while Times Now doesn't vouch for the authenticity of this tape, it purportedly carries a conversation between a student from R. G. Kar Medical College and a senior from another medical college. This student's heard telling his senior that they have reasons to believe that more than one person was involved in the crime. रिपोर्टे जे रखम इंजुरीज आज दीदी हाँ ताते दादा एकजुन का मिनिमाम दुई बा तीन जन कारा होते सपेक्ट कर आजी कर दादा सपेक्ट कर इंटरनर क्ज ठीक है इंटरन तरह जथेष पलिटिकल बैकग्राउंड आज तरह फैमिली मेम्बरों जथेष उच्च पदस्थ ठीक है नाम नीते पर कारण दादा समस्या हो जाए ना नाम एकदम नाम না দাদা সেটাই এবং তাকে প্রোটেকশন দেওয়ার জন্যই মানে খারাপ লাগছে ভাবতে যে আমার ব্যাচমেটই এরকম করতে পারে এবং কলেজ অথরিটি এতটা নির্লজ্জ যে তাকে সেফগার্ড করার জন্য এত কটা গেমস খেলা হচ্ছে You're watching the news hour at 10 debate number 1 on Times Now Super Prime Time Let's take this across to our guest now joining us Tuin Sira's national spokesperson of the BJP we have Shubhrashtra author and founder of the Churn Dr Swati Maheshwari is an internal medicine specialist who's joining us Mohammad Tausif Rehman is spokesperson of the TMC we also have with us Tausif Ahmed Khan lawyer and political analyst let me start with you first Mohammad uh, Tausif Rehman and let me just cite what the Calcutta High Court has specifically said over here the Calcutta High Court has transferred the case to the CBI they have strongly criticized the commissioner they have said that can it be denied this case has exposed or rather what from the action of what the court has said can it be denied that the case exposes the insensitivity of the police as well as the college administration ah uh, good evening madam mother first of all you know i was hearing all the bjp leaders as well because they are put the water boundary and which will never end you know my mother but i want to ask you personally tonight you know what do you want to hear you want to hear from such a political party bjp who sitting mps are accused of rape but never mind it's okay i'll come to you on the high court issues what whatever they have said we have to agree with the high court we have agreed with the protesters and we know what are the demands and we are with the students but again mother the question what you are asking it's very important i mean as far as the hearing calcutta high court concern i mean everyone has the right to explore if every possible legal action available to them to seek the justice what is the main agenda to bring justice you know since the very first day our cm has made it clear that if the victim parents want the case to be probed by any other law enforcement energy we have no issues west bengal government has no egoistic government that acha cbi ke paas chala jayega to hamari bezzati ho jayegi it's not like that we just wanted time which again it's a golden time we know that many things can happen we never ran back you know this is not something as a spokes person i'm talking today i'm talking about a common man we have lost our daughter we have lost our sister it's a heinous crime so instead of doing political vendetta instead of going here and there we should all come together under one roof and ask for justice yes the security labs are there there has been some mistake done by no 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 sir this is not some mistake you know mr mr sir, mr, mr. tawsif let, let me stop you now let me stop you now just just one second just hold on to your thoughts one second it's a very serious issue and you started yes. off by talking about you know bjp's mp's being accused of rape let me tell you that with the same vehemence times now this show and this very channel has repeatedly followed mr brijbushan charan singh what's happened of course is beyond us but we have very much covered that particular story and let me also remind you that two wrongs cannot make a right what happened as far as the wrestlers and mr brijbushan charan singh i am not going to mince any words in saying that that's wrong but also this cannot be justified and when you say that some mistakes happen sir these are not some mistakes they are very no, but, very but, serious lapses there are serious mother, questions of the kind of brutality which this girl has faced <coughs> whether there are injuries on her eyes or various parts of her body private parts do not call this some mistake no, there are serious I, lapses I, I, in rg car okay. the state government the state police have not covered themselves in glory by asking for 5 days for a cbi inquiry i don't think anybody is doing anybody any favors and the high court has no, also mother, rejected mother, that mother, so let definitely. me one second one second mr no, tawseef no. one second let me set the premise very clearly the entire youth of the nation 
Young doctors of this country have hit the streets for the past 48 hours. They have been outraged with the brutality. So please do not come on this channel or any other channel and say some mistakes have happened. You are insulting the memory. One second, Mr. Tosif, you are insulting the memory of a student who has lost her life to this kind of extreme brutality. This is the last thing we want for any young person. Leave alone the future doctors of this country. So please understand the kind of sensitivities when you, you know, go back and forth as far as the political aspect of this debate is concerned. No, but and I'm what's the hurry, the sir? One second. What's the hurry when a person, like a principal, sets his, puts in his resignation? What's the hurry to reinstate him in another medical college? No, I, I can't wrap my head around that. What kind of accountability are you fixing for a person who claims that this suicide didn't complain to the cops? Where's the accountability being fixed here, Tosi? No, no, no. The first thing I said, it's very sensitive. But why to do what about it? Why can't we stand together and watch this thing? I mean, of course, it is in our hand. The whole responsibility belongs to the West Bengal government. This is what I want to tell you. But doing this water boundary, you are making an insult of this whole story. Where is I mean, the water I mean, you people Nobody are should be it. held accountable I mean, according to you, Tosif. But the BJP is doing it. We want, to, we want to see the development. You know, Mamta Banerjee is there with the students. Mamta Banerjee is there with the victim's family and she's not doing any favor. That is her duty. We have accepted all the demands coming from the protesters. They are valid. They are sitting on street. They have lost their colleague. We have lost our daughter. Everything is valid. But I don't see on what ground the opposition is alleging that the state is trying to delay and dilute the matter. My only, my only matter is this much. Doing Nothing sir. else. Let me put that question across to Tuin Sinha. Tuin Sinha, there's unnecessarily Madhav, politics happening on an issue. The state Madhav, government is I... very well aware of its responsibility. Madhav. Mamta Banerjee has supported the demands of the doctors, saying that there should be exemplary punishment for whoever the accused is. Please respond to the statement being made here by Mohammad Tarsif Rahman, TMC you, spokesperson. Can I request you? Can I? Can I? You know, can I request you for the next two minutes? This TMC representative doesn't open his mouth because I'm appalled by his vehemence on a day when most TMC representatives have ran away. So that's something which I'm requesting you for the next two minutes. Please ensure that he doesn't open his mouth. You know, oh, in this particular case, do you? Realize why Mamta Banerjee had been insisting for the next five days, you know, to ensure that the CBI doesn't take over the case till this Sunday to destroy evidence. Because even as we are speaking over here on your show, do you realize that important parts of that hospital have been destroyed in the name of renovation? That includes the chest department. You know, what is the legacy of the chief minister of Bengal, who also happens to be the home minister and the health minister? Having people like Sanjoy Roy, who disguise themselves as police, you know, employees of the Bengal police and enter any, you know, any hospital right in the midnight? Is it people like Sandeep Ghosh, you know, who have presided over worse things in the past. In fact, today there are videos of more parents from the past saying that they have been, that their students have been pressurized beyond limits and that uh, they've gone to the brink of suicide. Is this the legacy which Mamta Banerjee wants to leave as the Home Minister and the Health Minister of Bengal? The issue doesn't end over here. You know, Badhav, it is about the mindset of Bengal Chief Minister twice on previous occasions in 2012 in the Park Street rape case and in 2021 in the Nadia gang rape and murder case she has shamed the victim and she has resorted to a similar procrastination to ensure that the real culprits escape. What's wrong with TMC? They have been shielding rapists and dreaded criminals for eternity even in the Shah Jahan case for two months she tried to dodge the CBI and tried to do everything possible to, you know, make sure that Shah Jahan escaped. This is precisely what she wanted to do here by seeking five more days till the, you know, Kolkata High Court intervened and ensured that the CBI took over right, right away. And finally, you know, all those louts and all the loud mouths of, of uh, you know, the TMC, whether it is Mahua Moitra, Sagarika, Ghosh, Derek O'Brien, or for that matter, Priyanka Chaturvedi of India Alliance, where have they disappeared? Is this the sensitivity? Is this, you know, what you know, we expect from women leaders of India Alliance? I think there are graver issues. It's not about politics at all. And in fact, you know, even as I speak, half an hour ago, a video okay. has surfaced of the neighbor of, of the girl. Let me who come in now. Let me come in now on to... Th out on social media. There, there, there are multiple that's questions that's over here. One second, one second. Tui, now you have asked multiple questions. Please allow others. There are at least four other panelists who have not yet spoken. But I want uh, Tosif Rahman to quickly respond to two points. 
Tawseef Rahman, first, there are a number of unanswered questions. This is an attempt to cover up the evidence that, you know, more time was sought for a CBI probe as a charge coming in from the BJP. But what is undeniable is that there are multiple cases which have had to be handed over to the CBI. Whether we're talking about the Boktui massacre, whether we're talking about the uh, High Court ordering the CBI investigate the alleged illegal appointment of assistant teachers, whether the shooting of Congress councillor Tapan Kundu in Jhaldia Purli and the mysterious death of an eyewitness that were transferred. You know, there's a whole list of such cases. Why is it that repeatedly the state government or the state police, I beg your pardon, fails to do justice? Even when there's nationwide you know, outrage. You know, I am here to answer each and everything which will come from your side. You know, mother, you, me and the whole country's anger, we're on the same page. This is why what I started saying that I'm not here to defend anything. TMC is not defending anything. But you can't be insensitive. You can't bring 2012, 2013. That what will start what about three. And I, and, I, and I won't be able to answer anything. You know, Tuhin started about the construction work which, I, which we wanted to destroy something in Arjikat. It's a baseless allegation. That work was going around from last two weeks. You can, you can send your team to Arjikar and ask the protesters because they have all now. the access to go up and down. Even Listen to me. Please don't interrupt. Okay, okay, Please don't okay. interrupt. Tuhin, one by one. one, by one. Interrupt. Nobody interrupted no, you. Let him make his mother. point. I yeah. need to clear that. I need to clear that. It's very important. So any protesters, my brothers who are sitting outside the college can go upstairs and can find out. Second, you are talking about the sensitivity. In what happened today in Rajasthan? Should we bring that? I don't want to bring that. A girl was dragged with a bike. I don't want to bring that mother, but I am bound to do that because of hearing to him. You know, you can attack me. You can ask me several questions, hundred questions. Whoever may, I, may I just request? May I just request everyone? Here, you know, you know, this answer. is exactly what will happen. I do not want to go down that road at all. We are here at a moment where you know it's certainly a very sensitive stage as far as the investigation yes. is concerned. CBI is supposed to take over the investigation tomorrow. Quick response to you, Tuin. He says you're factually incorrect. The construction was on in that place. There's no cover-up. Quick response. No, no, even if the construction is on, it can't be life as usual. Next, you know, no, you no, have no, shattered you the, cannot, the, the entire family's things. future. And I think the you construction needs to stop. One second, him. one second. Tosif, now he didn't interrupt you, now you're interrupting one. him. Let him make his two, point. He, He's responding can to you. He explain, can he explain, uh, can he explain the, Sandeep, uh, the reward to Sandeep Ghosh? Can he explain that? The man who was presiding over, you know, all these... Practices, malpractices. Can he explain the promotion within 24 hours of him quitting the previous organization? Can no he explain the fact that this guy, Sanjoy Roy, had been roaming his, uh, disguised as a police, as an employee of the Kolkata police? So I think there are far graver issues. I think okay, this, let, yeah, me, let me now bring in other panelists. Let me now bring in other panelists. I want to bring in now Tosif Ahmed Khan. Tosif Ahmed Khan, this is what the High Court has observed. I'm just quoting the High Court. The parents suspect that more than one person may be involved. The state of body, the bleeding, the injuries, no clothes on body. It's a case of gang rape, but only one person has been arrested. Fears of the parents articulated by the High Court, police unable to establish it. Several days after the crime, why? Madhav, you see, the main accused, Sanjay Roy, was arrested based on the evidence found by the Kolkata police. And when Chief Minister met the family member of the victims, they uh, expressed their concern that there are maybe other people involved. And after that, Chief Minister requested Kolkata police to look into the angle if anybody else was also involved and gave an ultimatum of five days to complete the investigation. Now, in the meantime, the demand to hand over the case to uh, CBI or to a judicial inquiry has been repeatedly raised and the petitions that were filed in the High Court day before was taken up today for hearing. Now, the court has passed an order handing, it, handing the investigation to the CBI. There's one more aspect to this, Madhav. Even the court commented that if the doctors were, who are on strike, if their uh, organization... Uh, if their representative were present in the court today, the chief justice himself would have asked them to withdraw the strike because there are other patients who are suffering. Yes, the, the anger by the doctor's community is totally justified. It's a, it's a brutal crime. It's a shocking crime. And it hurts. Everyone is hurt. And everyone wants justice. Even the chief minister has asked for capital punishment, although she is ethically against, you know, demanding a capital punishment. Yet she has asked for a fast track court. She has asked for the uh, accused to be hanged till death. 
and she wants to see the justice it's the data of the ncr the data which says that crime against women so far the matter of crime against women is concerned kolkata has always been at the top sir, sir please uh, compared you know, to other cities you know, so there you is know, no time for there is one no, second one second we are no, getting into the no, specifics of this tossi no. so khan you have not answer the parents fear there's more than one accused look at the kind of injuries look at the brutality yes. that has occurred look at the kind yes. of you know various aspects of bodily fluids that have been found we know the specifics i don't want to get into that all of this points no, to the fact have, that there's more than one person expressed. yet only one arrest yes, why they, simple question sir so they have the simple answer to that is that there is no other material there is no other evidence which has come to the fore before the kolkata police that is what they have submitted which is why we perhaps also. should have had a cbi inquiry ordered yesterday shubhrashtra So, Prashant, yeah. no other no, evidence that why, has come to the fore. That is why. That is why. Ask for five more days. No, no, but then that then that could be five more days where evidence is destroyed, sir. Who knows? That's what the BJP is exactly saying. So, Prashant, please respond no, to him. Mamta, Mamta never, CM never opposed the CBI inquiry. All right, please give Already. please give the lady a chance. There are two ladies on this panel who have not yet spoken. So, Prashant. Madhav, I am appalled by the insensitivity of uh, of certain panelists who are getting into the nitty gritties of the case, as if at the at at the moral ethical level the question has been dealt with. Have we heard an unequivocal, uh, you know, pledge of sorts to put the culprit behind bars? I don't think so. It's always since morning I've been going on shows after shows for this on this issue, and the only thing I can hear is with a rider if. the culprit is guilty he shall be it's only on that note that we are beginning to have conversations from the other side of the aisle and madhav let us understand that we are talking about a 31 year old young professional who was not yet uh, you know who was who was just at the cusp of uh, 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 becoming the doctor that she want, wanted to become because medical profession takes a long time it's a long haul for you know professionals out there i cannot understand how insensitively can we ignore that very aspect of a 31 year old young aspirational uh, 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 you know medical professional point number 2 is we all know that the bengal police not just uh, is not just charged by political rhetoric for being you know politically motivated these are part of reports published by illustrious think tanks these are parts of conversations which have been mainstreamed now we all know the way in which bengal police has been operating i don't understand why is it required for any young national party spokesperson to justify the doings of the bengal government in this regard it is fine at the end of the day we anybody who is young and is trying to make a political impact in this country i think we should call a spade a spade sometime i don't understand this political compulsion to always defend the indefensible okay and you rightly raised the issue of uh, you know bridge bhushan uh, 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 madhav and i think people across the aisle including me have been unequivocally uh, you know condemn condemnatory about his behavior but have do we hear the same from the opposition that's the that's a primary question that i have with each of these cases that fly out right it let, is extremely sad let me bring in sanjay sarkar on that note sanjay sarkar you know there are several lapses in this particular case why was a case of unnatural death registered why was it not you know something else why were the family members told that it's suicide uh, you know who was trying to do all this cover up and if it was the principal or somebody else why is that person not been arrested yet this incident is very uh, very sad this is uh, this is refuge for uh, for a while and he should be hanged soon he should be hanged soon didi already said that should be given the severe punishment how many incidents how many incident have the happened is the before of the bjp double engine government and I, as a young example hatras and morana sir let's not and, go down that road uh, i am not I I I I'm not Sir again we will end up doing the same what about we can we please discuss this case I am requesting you and I am requesting others let's not start discussing each case two wrongs don't make a right people of this country are fed up they want to see action in this case sir can you talk about the action that should have been taken and how soon it will be taken in this particular case please because people people do not want to hear ki humne to aaj ye kiya hai kisi aur ne kuch aur wo kiya hai mean that's not the whole idea will speedy justice be delivered in Because this case where are the other accused in this case why are they not behind bars mr sarkar can you answer no, that question our, please our, 
our our police our police is the county in ward number 2 this court courtland ward police is number 1 and our bengal police the ward number 2 okay this is incident is incident sir number okay. one police does not file the correct case under the correct section number one police has not arrested any of the other accused number one police has sir, not found out why suicide was told to the parents and not the cause of death number one police has not uh, told us why the crime scene was not properly guarded away Number one, police has so not told the, us where is the CCTV who is the, footage. Who is, the is that the is that the, the kind arrested? of investigation by number one no, police, sir? By, uh, is that sir, a number sir, one police Rai. investigation? Who is the arrest? Who is the arrest, though, Sanjay Rai? The West Bengal uh, police they arrested, na? Let's get Who's Dr. Maheshwari. Dr. Maheshwari, when you hear such statements, you know, comparing it to other state police, other kinds of crime against women, that this is a police that is number one. How does it make you feel as a doctor? And how should young doctors studying in medical colleges across the country? How would they be feeling at the moment? I think uh, the real fact, Madhav, is that doctors in India are undervalued. They are considered a cheap resource for a very critical role in the society. If you look at it, you know there have been repeated demands by the doctors for the Central Protection Act for improving the work safety environment, and it has all fallen on the deaf ears. And that's what we can see here at the panel also today. You know there are false assur assurances over the time. The doctors are pacified, but never anything happens. And if you look at it, I think you would agree with what I'm saying that right now the demand of the doctors is very basic and minuscule. I would say. See, if a doctor is putting his day in, day out, he's sacrificing his meals, he's sacrificing his prime of the years, he's sacrificing his sleep, everything he's sacrificing just to save lives of the people. And what is he asking or she asking in return? They are just saying that you know, when we are saving your lives, just save our backs as well, just provide us safety, just ensure that we are safe at our workplace. And I don't think this is a big demand. You know, they are not asking that hike our salaries. They are not saying. that you cut down on a work hours which itself are you very very long what they are saying is just protect us keep us safe you know even this girl our victim she didn't had a proper room to rest in the night she had to rest in a seminar room she didn't Shocking. even have an on call duty doctor's room how you know how inhuman can that be you know a doctor who's working day in and day out she or he doesn't have a place to rest in the night when they are working for 48 72 hours they don't have a place to sit and have their meals they don't have a place to rest isn't this too shocking for the entire nation by itself that the doctors who are working all the time tirelessly giving everything back to the society they don't even have these human things available to them and i think this is a time when we all should wake up it's a spine chilling you know event that has happened an incident and i think it should you know kind of prevent further tragedies it should prevent certain incidents happening again and that can only happen if we all rise together it has to be a concerted effort from the authorities from the people from the society at large because you know it cannot happen just by one or two people asking for a thing and the others not listening to it at all so i think it is time the authorities should rise to the situation and understand this it's not that the doctor has to perform all the time and what he or she gets in return is just neglect and violence the time has come that we understand what kind of role they are playing in the society see even today when they are right. demanding for all this they are protesting they are on strike what are they what are they being told they are being told that you know people are suffering you need to go back to your work so there their needs are not looked after and this is something which is very very essential now let me bring in mohammad tawseef rehman tawseef rehman you know you can wax eloquent it. against the bjp you can blame them for their rule you can raise questions about different cases of their leaders answer the doctor sir who's going to provide mother, these basic facilities mother, this where is, ladies this don't is, have a place is. to rest they don't have a place to eat cctv footage which cctv is the most basic thing that any institution across the country will have that is not present the accused are not being identified What's going on, sir? Who will answer for Madam, that? After, the go the government has not gone to. I mean, forget accounting to BJP. Let's leave it. Let's leave it aside. At least Definitely. give an account to these doctors who are demanding basic facilities. Madhav, I heard Subhrashtra ji, and I was hearing Maheshwari ji. I mean, that that is the with the truth. I mean, you really think whatever happened in Arjika is something we need to get just ignore everything and just do what about it today? It's not like that. This is how I started. I mean, it's a pan India problem. 
But again, I cannot ignore what happened with my sister inside the hospital at Arjika. And this is what we want to bring, highlight that can Mamta government and Modi government can come under one roof and whatever the laws has been made before can cannot be initiated. Can't we bring death penalty again? I mean, what's wrong bringing death penalty? You know, whatever crime happens in India, after the suspect get arrested, Death okay. penalty is After not the issue here. Tawseef, death is penalty is not the issue. It, it, the will to the process. will to impartially investigate it is the question. In this case, there have been a number of questions that have been raised about whether the investigation has done justice to the brutality faced by this particular victim. There's a reason that people are calling it a replay of Nirbhaya because the sheer brutality of what this young lady has gone through. And the young doctor at that has gone through. That's why it has completely shocked the conscience of the entire nation. And everyone's watching really what will happen as far as this investigation is concerned. We'll have to leave it there. Mohammad Tawseef Rahman, Sanjay Sarkar, Tawseef Ahmad Khan, Dr. Swati Maheshwari and Subrashtra of course continues uh, along with Tuhin Sina on debate number two.